folklorico or Mexican folk dance uh, was originally started uh, many years ago, but most importantly, organized folklorico is very recent. In the 1950s was started by Amalia Hernandez, who was the director of the official ballet folklorico de Mexico. But it dates back and history and research to many years in the pueblos, the 18th century, when the Spaniards came and landed at the port of Veracruz, the Aztecs intertwined with our Spaniards and created the mestizo. Not only are you dancing these traditional regional Mexican folk dances, but you're also creating history. You're also telling a story. Along with Focorico, each different state of Mexico has their own regional dances and here are some examples of some of these regional dances. This is an example of Veracruz. It is a vestido or dress made out of lace. It has a rebozo and many necklaces, a fan. They wear a tocado that has flowers and the flowers go to the right. The earrings, they're usually gold. The dress is all white because it is based on the tropical weather over there in Veracruz with some color, pink. This is called a paliacate. In English, it would be a bandana. The typical Veracruz hat. Their part of the vestuario is the guayabera, which is the shirt that I'm wearing. The costume I'm wearing is called a vestido de gala. It is from Jalisco, and it's a very colorful dress, as you can tell. It has many ribbons, it contains a rebozo, some necklaces, and it's matching hairpiece. It contains the adelitas, it's black boots, has a high heel, and it contains these gold earrings. They're circled, they have shine, so they can also stand out while dancing. It's called a charro outfit. The pants I'm wearing, they're called charro pants. The belt I'm wearing is called the charro belt, and the hat I'm wearing is called the charro hat and I wear black boots with this outfit. Everything I wear has to do something to do with the, with the way I dance. The dress that I'm wearing is from Costa de Nayari. The skirt is floral print. I have long sleeves. They add elegance. I'm wearing a necklace and earrings, and a tocado, which is a hairpiece. The vestuario I'm wearing is for Costa Nayari. It includes a black camisola, white jeans, black folklorico boots, a brown belt, a mascada, and a norteño hat. <laughs> Mariachi music started when Spain conquered Mexico. Uh, the natives at the time had very limited instrumentation, which included maybe drums, flutes. Well, the Spanish came and brought over the violin, a vihuela, which is a smaller version of a guitar, and the harp. Well, traditionally, it was kind of handed down through the generations until maybe uh, the early 1900s, mariachis moved to the bigger cities. That's really where they became mainstream and became the identity of Mexico itself. And it grew in popularity up through the 50s and 60s with uh, obviously the cinema and the radio. There are many different types of instruments in mariachi and here are some of them. This is my guitar. I've been playing guitar since third grade and I started off in mariachi in second grade. It has six strings and it's a beautiful harmony in mariachi. It's what keeps the harmony within the beat. It's like cousins with the guitarón and the vihuela. This is the guitarón. It's useful in mariachi because it really brings out the sound in the mariachi. It helps give it the beat that everyone likes to dance to. And it just helps out with the, bringing out the rest of the sound from the bands, all the instruments like the violin and stuff like that. That's why I like to play it.
This is the vihuela. It is the rhythm and heart of mariachi. And it's like a guitar, but it only has five strings and it's tuned differently. I've been playing for about two years. I first started playing off the guitar and the teacher, he said I had really good hand movement, so he put me to the vihuela and I just liked it. trumpet is on three vowels you have a solid mouthpiece which is made of metal this is mainly the, like the most important instrument in mariachi I play the violin it is made out of four strings and what it is, it's a sweet melody to the mariachi. to invite you to continue uh, preserving our roots uh, through music and dance. That is the background. Uh, where Mexico is all about, uh, but also where your family, where your parents, your nanas, your tatas are coming from. And for you to get educated and to know the why, why we have a tradition that is so rich.